Hi there, so today we're going to be looking at doing some work with some quadratic functions and some of the common things that we might be asked to do with, with quadratics. Here we've been asked to find the exact value of the roots of y plus 6x squared plus x minus 15. And it's stated the method we need to use. It's stated we need to do that by factorising. So see if it hadn't stated the method it needed us to use, we could pick and choose. So we might do this by completing the square or by using a quadratic formula. But here it has asked us to do it by factorising, so that's what we're going to do. The roots are obviously when this function here is equal to zero. We'll start by writing that out. So I've got 6x squared plus x minus 15, and we're looking for when that is equal to zero. Now, when we have one of these harder quadratics, so the coefficient of x squared is not 1, first step would be to do 6 times negative 15. 6 times negative 15, which gives me negative 90. Then I'm looking for two factors of negative 90, that when I add them together, I get positive 1, because the coefficient here of x is positive 1. So my two factors that I'm interested in are 10 and negative 9. So I'm going to rewrite this expression here as 6x squared plus 10x minus 9x minus 15 equals 0. So this expression here is equivalent to the expression above, because if I was to simplify the 10x, subtract 9x, gives me 1x, so it's all fine. Now I'm going to factorise these two terms and these two terms separately. So highest common factor of 6x squared and 10x is 2x, and then I'll get 3x plus 5. Highest common factor of negative 9x and negative 15x is negative 3, and that will also give me 3x plus 5. Okay, so finish it off. I have got 2x and minus 3, lots of 3x plus 5. So that's 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 5. Now for this product here to be equal to 0, as we're well aware, that means that one of these expressions is 0. So dealing with them separately, 2x subtract 3 equals 0 leads me to x is equal to 3 over 2. could write that as 1 and a half if you'd prefer. If 3x plus 5 is equal to 0, that would lead me to x is equal to negative 5 over 3, or negative 1 and 2 thirds if you'd prefer.